Nenem Ziara of Pisra Cross. My name is um, Asbazio Jennifer. A mother to Namia Vanessa and some of his her brothers, like Steward Sigun, Junior Yokim, Aiko Jerry. I'm Sam Wafoya, a mobile man agent operating here at Nakawa. Opus Nawataka Police. So, as far as pandemic is concerned, or oh, as the business was before the pandemic and as it is now. We can talk about how Corona has affected our country. As per now, our children are at home. Now, transport is a problem. You see, apparently, before there was what business was like moving well but right now it's not moving because now since most of the people are not working and uh, even like people don't have money like my business here sometimes i used to go to town to buy some some of my properties which i'm using here in saloon these days, there's no way, there's no transport, you cannot go anywhere, you just sit here. There's no money, people doesn't have money, business is not moving well. We are just like that. Even food is a problem sometimes. You cannot even get money. Sometimes you come to business, there's no customer. You just sit and go back home without even anything. But the good things we get from, let me say, like lacrosse. Lacrosse has uh, helped our children. They are now they are they they they, they are used to uh, lacrosse. They go to practice. That thing make them busy. They are not idle. Even if they come home, if there is no food, they don't mind. Even in the morning, they will wake up and say that, Mom, we are going to the what? To the lacrosse. They are now used of it. It has helped us in such ways to protect our children. They are always they are busy. They come home when they are tired, just like that. My name is Watumbe Christine. I'm here in Shinawataka Police Station. I'm very glad to talk with the people right now the issue of COVID-19. COVID-19 came in different ways of bringing us problems. We are suffering, children are at home. I am Nakawaka Sharon, the parents of these kids of La Croix. As the situation you are taking us, it's not okay as we parents, as, as we, are, we were self-employed. But for now, there is local down, there is no way you can move. Getting what to eat is a problem. But for now, we are just there stuck. If you get somebody to help you, to give you what to eat, you go like that. But this is good of lacrosse. For sure, it has helped us. It has helped our kids to be creative, not just to, to be dull. As they are not at school, it has helped them not just to be there dull. So, life is just not all that good. We are lacking very many things. Food, hmm? each and everything. So we give up, we, we, we just, we just, yes, yes, yes. Mm. So now, with the God's bread, 
God has helped us. We are, we are trying to pass all those circumstances with this COVID-19. This is what I thank God for that. And on top of that, our children of La Crosse, Peace La Crosse, La Crosse has brought us a very great work for these children here. Yeah. Children are busy. They are not loitering around. They are meaning their work. That is the great thing which has helped us with the lacrosse. Uh, my name is Namagembe Shanita. Uh, I'm 16. I go to Kololo Senior Secondary School. I'm in Form 3. Uh, during this, like, because of this pandemic, we are not at school as per now. But I thank lacrosse that she has helped me to keep me busy this, during this lockdown. I'm really occupied, I'm not idle. So we thank the people who have brought for us lacrosse. We have appreciated them. In everything they are doing for us, they are assisting us. So that is the only thing I can talk about lacrosse keeping our children busy. My name is Nameja Shitra and I'm in Pan Squad. Um, how the COVID has affected me. Um, the, we stopped schooling. And I'm in Senior 5, as I say. I mean, senior five, so we stopped schooling, and the uh, lacrosse has helped me being busy. As in, I've been home for a while, and my friend told me about lacrosse. Then I joined, so it has kept me being busy, uh, not being idle. Aside from Uganda, youth aid me. I have to do yes. Lacos has helped me to be busy. The new phone has taken us bad. Corona has done many things, even my sister got an accident. Hi, my name is Amit Robert and I'm a midfielder at Golden Rocks, Uganda. I started playing Golden Rocks when I'm um, last year in 2020. The course has helped me to gain speed and sometimes I've been bored and helped me to gain to move my boredness. And it has helped me to get friends and to learn good manners. Lacrosse has helped me to learn a lot of skills. Um, it's, a, it's a very good sport. It helps your body to okay, you become fit. I spend a lot of time doing lacrosse. It's a really good sport, so I urge other people to also join. I'm Nara Iso Gracie. Nara Iso Gracie, Sierra. I'm Paroti. My name is Afe Chanwini from Apple College, Mbuya. Yeah, the pandemic has affected me in a way that I've seen the performance. Like, I have a brother who sat for P7, but since the other pa pandemic happened, the performance went, came back, the result, it wasn't that good. It affected him, even us at the same time. But still, Lacrosse has helped me in a way that, apart from revising, definitely avoided me from being idle. Because I also get tired of revising and I'm like, this is, so, this is too much. My name is Koshin Melon and I'm in senior one as per now. Lacrosse has helped me to keep me busy. 
COVID-19 has also affected me in the way that you cannot go to school. Thanks for lacrosse that has kept me busy. My name is Achebet Oliver. I'm in P3. I'm a midfielder. I've learned about dodging, defending. I thank Lacrosse for bringing us to this game. Thank you, Lacrosse. My name is Muhiwe Moses. I'm a member of Peace Lacrosse. Uh, I talk about the disappointment. We were supposed to play in uh, 2019. We are going to play in uh, Ireland. But uh, we got so we got bad news. We could not go. From there, we were so disappointed and uh, we were healing our wounds. Then the pandemic also came in, and we it has affected us. But we never gave up because we loved the game of lacrosse. We kept training and are believing in ourselves. Soon we got a, a chance to join Peace Lacrosse. We started training in the pandemic. Uh, we got a challenge called the Old Boy Challenge. We also participated in that and we kept pushing. Peace Lacrosse is still with us and uh, we have kept pushing. And we believe things are coming and they are on their way. Thank you, Peace Lacrosse. My name is Nelima Evan Mary. Currently working as the Peace Lacrosse, the World Campaign Implement Personnel. In the first wave of the pandemic, I was not a lacrosse player by then. But the love, for the love and passion of the game, that my brother was in the game, made me to join the game. I would like to thank Coach David Lee for the privilege he gave me to start recruiting children from my community to put them in the game. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Joel Aiko, a lacrosse player. I've been just grateful about what lacrosse has inspired me into. We've been in the, the, due to the pandemic, a lot has been occurred, a lot has been there. Um, I've been train, training kids, so I own an academy and this academy is based in Chibuli. It's for the kids and kids just because of the kids that have been, that, that have been at home due to the pandemic. So to avoid them in being bad groups, being impressed with a lot of issues so that we can go on and begin an academy to keep them. And back then, we nurture them about God, preach to them, to nurture them up and morally so that the pandemic does not take them bad because all that would be about watching movies, staying home, better we believe. The pandemic has brought an adjustment in life. Uh, besides from that, it has taught us a lot of things, how to adjust in case of any pandemic, because it's been the first. Uh, the yellow fever occurred, but then we are still kids and then had nothing about it. But it's been great about the pandemic. And I think the great adjustment has been for the benefit of Lacrosse as my sport. Been to, we've, been, we've been able to bring in more and more kids that have been able to learn the game and play it and enjoy it. So we, we are grateful because we've gotten time for world ball, training sessions. A lot has occurred, a lot has been the pandemic. Though school has been affected, many are in school. Um, a lot of things have occurred, but we're just blessed. You know, we, we believe there is no situation that's permanent and then God, God does all things on plan. So we believe after the pandemic, a lot will, be, will go on and life goes on. No matter what, no matter what happens. Thank you. I mean Joel Aiko for God and my country. Uh, my name is Mkaga John Bryan. I work for the Peace Lacrosse the World Campaign. Uh, today, I'm talking all about uh, how Peace Lacrosse the World Campaign has helped players during this pandemic season. So when I reflect back to the first wave of the pandemic, uh, Isla Crosa, we came out with projects uh, of which uh, one of them was uh, Thanksgiving in Uganda across all academies. Uh, in that, in that we, we developed plans and ideas that we had to share 
at the end of the day and uh, we had to think all about uh, to look for all academies uh, more especially those which were in the remoteness areas uh, we had to really pull them back and bring them back on board so that the so that we could share on what the pandemic has done and then uh, it was really a total lockdown whereby our parents were not working either so it was very hard for parents at a certain point to put food on table uh, in that like most of them were at home no movement but how it has helped the players uh, it has helped players in various ways uh, whereby like they have always kept uh, their skills up to date reason being that with the, there came the introduction of the world world ball contest of which uh, uh, we we gather up most of the players uh, after gathering them up uh, we had to involve them in the world ball contest of which the money that was raised uh, it was used uh, to process uh, their passports and then uh, to buy food for the players so that they could uh, support the family at one point. And then uh, we are also planning uh, for another project that is a seed and feed initiative. Uh, we are looking, at, uh, reason why we are, look, we are talking all about the seed and feed initiative, it is that uh, during the first, we had the Thanksgiving in Uganda. So when the second phase of the lockdown uh, came, uh, we had to think on how we can take care of our players during this pandemic period. Thinking all about the Seed and Feed uh, initiative, uh, we are organizing ourselves and planning uh, for a big, uh, for the big development that is really going to come across. And also, uh, due to the girls that had lost hope uh, during the 2019, of which they had to go to Canada and they never, they ne unfortunately, they didn't go. So when we think all about that, well, when uh, we are thinking all about the academies, we bring, uh, we bring all of them in, in place uh, so that uh, we could think on possible ways on how we can feed them during this project to, to encourage other players and to influence as many as possible. Because uh, this game is majorly for both boys and girls and it is the fastest game played on two feet ever. So in conclusion, uh, I would like to take this op opportunity to thank uh, the Peace Lacrosse the World Campaign uh, for dwelling in us and supporting us in every aspect of life and uniting us as players uh, always back together and we share the creators game. Uh, we want to thank all the sponsors who have put pieces together uh, so that they could support us in any aspect of life. Thank you so much and we love you and you're always welcome to Uganda. Anya Tao Betty, Anna Yamin Bottle Francis, at Tia Charmaka Kan, that what he locked down, Casama Pay, a poor Casama Mormor, Casama Bino, Managna, a tea gang can obtain or ten of Quan Pay, Gitty Gang, and no Jan Monomanana, or Guar de Kerriga. She's my mom and she's a call and she's called a tall baby and she sells shells and chapel. So in this lockdown the customers are few and what sales are very low. And what she's what experiencing a lot of challenges from what even uh, importing them from the transportation of, of what of the charcoal from up countries to bring it here and what the what prices are, are also very high because the the cars are not allowed to move since we are in the lockdown then also the kids are home there is nothing to feed them they are, they are not going to school and what there's a lot of challenges due to the effect of the coronavirus yes my name is Archie Dimbarak I'm a member of Fisla Cross the World Campaign. 
Yeah, I'm here to talk about how the men under under 21 how it didn't it didn't make it to to the world championship. Uh, so that that this that disappointment they had. Most of them departed, went different places because of the disapp disappointment. And so that's when also the pandemic came in. So when the pandemic came in, all the players were nowhere to be seen. So it was so dif difficult to converge them all together because most of them had, had lost hope to play lacrosse again. Uh, so most of them, they departed in different parts of Uganda, different areas, so you could not access them like easily unless those ones had their contacts. So during that, during that session, that's when an organization came in that the, the PLWC, the Peace Lacrosse the World Campaign. Uh, it came in to, get, to regain back that hope that most of the players lost because they were hopeless. They never had hope because of the thing that happened previously. So it gave them hope that they can still make it in future. Um, that's when we started we started calling friends and, and families from different places from where they were to come back so that we come back to we come up with a with a very good team as we were before. So that that's when um, the world 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 ball challenge came in. We started hitting the the wall from day one until up to date. Now hitting the wall from that day one up to date, it has improved most of the the players' skill, like playing skills, the stick skills. So uh, remember. Most of them had departed from different areas and they, they gave up to lacrosse. So this World Ball Challenge, it, it, it helped most of, the, most of the players to gain back their skills for sticks and, and uh, the game. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank the, the PLWC, the Peace Lacrosse the World Campaign, for the support he had, it has given to most of the players just of recent it had organized a support for all the lacrosse academies in Uganda, like uh, giving out food stuff to different different lacrosse academy because of the pandemic. Most of the families and most of the players never had food, like they were, they were running sort of food. So we, the Peace Lacrosse World Campaign came in with that support of giving out food. So I really like to thank it very much and it is still uh, in plans of of uh, providing more supports like uh, food and seed initiatives so I would like to thank Peace Lacrosse the World Campaign for all that support he had, it had the support and hope it has bring, brought back to us thank you very much Lacrosse, it has assisted us to keep our children safe. They do exercise. As they said, they told us the other time that exercise is good for Corona season. And now Lacrosse is helping us for that. We thank them for that program. The person who brought that program to our children, and in fact, we thank him or her so much. It has helped us in such ways. This is all what I can say about it. Afa yo dano sheke mute kanena sa makawoni an ati alur aberu ka woshi komlebe pa covid kita ma covid beteru amarash but. Mungu ketu wakadi, wabe kadi iye. Ndeni, aduogi kumlempa we are la cross. Beru magiti katimu iwashalo wa juru nyodu. Gitimu wa tishma diti mandanda. Afoyo.